we've handled hundreds of slip and fall type cases at Hardy Wolf and Downing, and some can be very simple, but others and most are um, very complicated. One of my favorite clients, um, Brian Antonelli, uh, was seriously injured uh, in a slip on ice while working as a, a truck driver. And as I was going into the building, nobody had put any sand or salt on the walkway. So, bam, I went down and my uh, quadriceps were torn right off my leg. Knocked me right out because the pain was so bad. While Brian was treating and recovering from the quadriceps tendon that required a surgical repair, and then after a few weeks recovery, he starts physical therapy, he was... Uh, going through his th physical therapy, building his legs back up, and while performing some of the exercises in physical therapy, herniated a disc in his back. One doctor says, listen, he says, I work for a workman's comp. I don't work for you. I work for workman's comp, so I'm here to help workman's comp, not you. And I said, well, that was kind of weird. And he, and he kind of like, just, I don't know, threw off my injuries, you know what I mean? And he tried to make it sound like I had injuries before this. And so he was trying to discredit me so bad. The insurance company obviously didn't think they were responsible for that, but legally they certainly are responsible. Once we presented them with the fact that he now needed back surgery to repair a herniated disc, uh, the insurance company fought it and went so far as to hire uh, their own doctor to give them an opinion that it wasn't related. He didn't complain about any symptoms or pain in his back when he fell, so therefore it couldn't be related. I had a good lawyer, Michael Welch, and uh, he took everything that they were trying to do to discredit me, and he turned that right around and to show the judge that, that uh, what they were doing, instead of telling the truth, you know how they, they reword things. So it worked out pretty well. The most important thing to note in this case was that although the first injury was a serious injury requiring a surgical repair, Brian was going to recover from that injury. But the back injury was a much more serious injury with more long-standing uh, complications. So had we not fought to get Brian the back injury related to the workers' comp injury, uh, his recovery would have been significantly less, but the insurance company would have gotten away with not being responsible for something we had to prove they were responsible for. I would, I would recommend Hardy Wolf and Downing, just from my personal experience.